Hello everyone, I'm Nidhi Gani, a biotechnologist by background and a digital health and cyber security professional by trade. I'm also a professor of regulatory affairs at Northeastern University, Boston, US. And today I'm here as your career advisor. In this video, we will see what different career opportunities are available for you if you're interested in biology. Stay tuned till the end because I'm going to reveal so many different unique and interesting careers that you would have never heard about and I can guarantee you that. In my channel, I talk about everything careers and education right from the age of 13 to 23. So if you are interested in building a successful career, please subscribe. Okay, let's get started. What is biology? Biology is a subject that is a field of science that studies living organisms and its processes. Biology as a subject came into existence 4.3 billion years ago when life came into existence. And yet, we have the courage and the audacity to reduce this subject into only being medicine and becoming a doctor. And that's why I'm here to bust all these myths and show you how many different unique career opportunities are available even if you're remotely interested in biology. If you are interested in biology, you can enter this field through science, commerce, arts and even law. Let's start with science. In science, you can study pure sciences like biotechnology, biochemistry, zoology, plant biology, which is botany, food sciences, geography, astrophysics, nursing, paramedical. So many different career options are available for you. In my opinion, I feel like if you are not completely sure of which pointed direction to take, then study biotechnology because it's a subject which is very diverse. And in those three to four years, you will study all the subjects that I mentioned, including genetic engineering, molecular biology, synthetic biology, how to make vaccines, clinical research. And if biotechnology still interests you after you've completed your bachelor's, you could be always study M.Tech or Masters of Science and get very specific into the subject that interested you in bachelor's. If you're interested in biotechnology and technology, then you could be studying these new fields of bioinformatics and computational biology. These both are selling like hot cakes now because so much data is available in the healthcare industry. It is very important for people who understand biology and technology at the same time to make sense of this data. So the future is very bright here. Having said that, if you're not interested in any of these that we spoke and if you're interested say in MBA, you can study MBA in healthcare management. When you study MBA in healthcare management, you become a sought out professional for the healthcare industry because you have specific knowledge domain and your internships and projects also would be very specific to the healthcare industry. When you study MBA and biotechnology, you can enter into operations, uh, sales, marketing, setting up the manufacturing plant, clinical research, many different areas open up for you and there also your career is very, very bright. Now, moving on to commerce. If you are interested in say economics, statistics, finance and accounting and you're interested in biology, careers like bioeconomics, biostatistics open up for you. Bioeconomics is a subject where you can build mathematical models to understand how living organisms affect agriculture, how living organisms affect oceans, how living organisms will affect the environment and the human health. Here you could be working as a researcher or become a professor or you could be even advising the governments. If you are interested in statistics, biostatistics is a very golden career that you can have. Here also you could be working for the industry, you could be working as a professor, you could be working in the lab where you will be learning how to understand and making sense of all the different data and building meaning to that data. Here you are paid very well, trust me on that. It will help in advancing how to make vaccines, how to make drugs, how to make medical devices. It's a very interesting field. Apart from that, if you're interested in finance and accounting, you can always get into studying healthcare companies more and start investing in them more and also work as an accountant or a finance analyst for healthcare companies. Now, if you're interested in law, you can always work as a patent analyst for healthcare companies. You are paid very well here as well because 
these patents last for 20 years and the companies make billions of dollars off of these patents. You can also help in mergers and acquisitions and signing and understanding contracts for countries and companies at the same time. Healthcare companies are sued left and right. They spend millions and billions of dollars just getting rid of that lawsuit. That's why healthcare lawyer becomes very important. A legal counsel is very important when it comes to healthcare industry. If you are interested in arts, liberal arts, humanities, social sciences, you can study psychology and biology. And that's a very deadly combination because psychology and cognitive science actually merge into pretty much the same field or a similar field to build better health outcomes and mental health well-being for people right so that's why these both subjects are merging now and there is no better time to choose psychology if you are also interested in biology as well apart from that if you are interested in design which i know a lot of students these days are interested in design you can get into bio design that's the future because in bio design you are using materials that are derived from living organisms like keratin and chitin are very strong materials that are used to build structures of empire state buildings and they can withstand earthquakes and hurricanes just like how the buildings now do if you don't believe me you can watch netflix there's a show called as abstract the very first episode is on bio design Stanford and MIT labs heavily are investing in such technologies because this is the future. If we can advance science and still survive as human species, then there is nothing like it. That's why bio design is the future. If you are interested in uh, food science, you could be working in gastro molecules. You could be also working on becoming a science journalist, scuba diver, marine biologist, all these are very interesting careers and Indian government especially has now invested in reviving the blue economy which means the Indian Ocean is untouched until now. The opportunities and careers are going to open. If you are a scuba diver or want to be a scuba diver or are interested in marine biology, a lot of research institutes will hire you to go deeper into the ocean to find the treasure of economy, right? If you're interested in becoming a diplomat, you could also be working at the intersection of biology and uh, terrorism, which is bioterrorism, biopiracy. These are very important careers uh, when it comes to international diplomacy because one single species of plant can wipe out the entire agricultural systems, which will affect human health to another level. When I talk about biology, it's not just medicine. It will touch literally everything in the world biology physics chemistry maths are the foundations of the world that we live in art science commerce uh, technology and law are the pillars on which uh, human species is surviving and advancing so if you are interested in studying biology uh, even remotely there is no better time to study this the future is definitely bright and i can guarantee you that